like you ever felt. Are you listening? Damn. Uh. Yeah. Uh. Yeah. Uh. Yeah. So this is my 2022 Ford Maverick as a work truck. Um, I'm gonna be showing you how to how it is to run a Ford Maverick as a work truck in general. We do pest control out of ours, but this is pretty much it. Show you the interior real quick. Pretty much just got Apple CarPlay, all the standard features. It's the LT, I believe. XLT is the XLT version. Um, I've got Apple CarPlay. I've added a few little things in here, like that phone mount up top of there. Um, nothing really else too special in here. But we'll go on to the back seat. That's kind of where I got my organization for all my glue traps and gloves and things I'll need for every day you know usually I've got a, a sprayer as well this is a little quarter gallon sprayer that I use sometimes not very often it's empty right now but anyways I've got a toolbox um, some papers and stuff like that and that little filing thing uh, some business cards some collection vials um, glue traps, insect monitors, rat traps, uh, mouse traps, a uh, knife, because no one can ever have too many knives, um, some extra little work gloves when we're doing termite jobs and stuff, a, a headlamp. Um, I've got storage underneath the seat as well with my respirator and all that kind of stuff. Um, i got an extra cl spare clothes bag right there. Um, I've got a, a net for catching stuff underneath the seat right there. Um, that's pretty much it. Some peanut butter that I use as bait sometimes. <coughs> I had this ladder rack from Amazon up here. It's nothing special, I believe it was a couple hundred bucks. But that's about it. Um, I got a ladder up top of it right now. Um, I got these toolboxes mounted on the bed, the bed rails right here. I use the same bolt on each side as the um, that's the ladder rack. It's kind of messy in here right now, but I just got a bunch of different stuff in here right now. Uh, not too big of a deal. I put these little hooks on here just to hang whatever on. This is my backpack sprayer right here for pest control. I'm gonna just keep everything in buckets because I don't have a camper shell on here, so it's a little bit, it's a little wet and stuff, so I keep everything sealed in buckets. Um, those are our bait stations right there. This is a, a bed bug steamer. Um, this is the one I keep all my chemical in right here. So I've got it all. It's in a locked box. Keep all my chemicals and what else I need in there. Um, it's a Webster up there. Just for de-webbing and whatnot. On this side, I got a subwoofer down there. I just threw in there just for some extra sound. Um, pretty much saw everything else from the other side, but yeah, just a little walk through real quick. Um, over here, I just keep my random chargers and stuff in here, um, keys and extra battery and stuff like that. I keep some extra pens in that little compartment right there. This truck has a lot of good storage space um, for being so small. So you got all this little you know, stuff that you can throw your, throw your phone in if you want to. It's got even got a little phone mount. It has like a little orange liner with it as well, but I'm cleaning it right now actually. So, um, like I said, it's got Apple CarPlay uh, for GPS. That so makes it real nice to get from house to house. Got extra stuff up there, just storage for the, the power sprayer in the back. Um, that pretty much wraps it up for the inside. Now, if we go around back over here, it'd be hard to tell under here, but I actually have a termite rig it's like a glorified pressure washer pretty much uh, with a long hose but 
That is why I have this this platform up top of here because I keep that termite rig sealed up so it didn't get wet and corroded. But it's also just nice to keep it have a platform up top of it as well. There's a flat flat 50 gallon tank in there as well. That's where I fill it up right there. So that's pretty much it. Um, other than that, I've got a sorry for the dog barking in the background. But other than that, I have a two inch two inch spacers on here. So the wheels spoke out a little bit more. I want to get some more tires pretty soon. Once summer hits, we're making some more money. Um, I also put a one and a half to two inch leveling kit on the truck. So that is why it's a little bit higher up. It's also a little bit lower in the back because there's a lot of weight back there. So whenever it's unloaded and everything, it's pretty, uh, it's pretty level. So a little bit higher in the front than it is in the back right now. But other than that, that's pretty much it. I want to show you guys. And also, this is the two-wheel drive version, just front wheel, um, the not hybrid one, the just gas motor with a turbo. So 